Hello everyone and welcome to Lifestyle. I'm Denise Simons, your host, and this is a show about bringing life in your home and helping you create your style. And we give you tips and inspiration to create everything that you see on the show. Well, did you have a good weekend? I actually went out and bought my pumpkins and mums. It's the fall season, and this is the time of year I want that curb appeal. I want to bring in those mums, but this time I didn't get the traditional orange pumpkins. I actually got this fiery red pumpkin and a white and also a green, and I sort of staggered them with the mums behind. Great way and instant curb appeal. And speaking of curb appeal, we're talking about something on the show we've never talked about, and that is outdoor lighting. You know, I've got a question for you. How does your home look at night? If you're driving by your home, is it dark? Does it look friendly? Can you see like the pathways? Uh, well, if you can't, we have expert in the field. Terry Lawrence is here and he is going to be talking. He's from PM Lighting and he's going to be talking about uh, lighting and how you use it. It's layers of lighting. So he'll be showing some pictures of Nashville and some beautiful lit homes. Well, coming up, we're going to be talking about interior design and we're going to be talking about outdoor lighting. That's all coming up after the break. Hey, we're so glad that you're watching and we have a big show coming up. We want to encourage all of you live streamers, stay on the online with us and all of you who are watching, welcome, welcome, welcome to you. Well, we've got a big, big show. One of the things we have never talked about is outdoor lighting and we have Shirley Horowitz with Davishar Interiors is back with us. We're so glad to have you, Shirley. Oh, thank you so much for asking me. Absolutely. And Terry Lawrence from PM Lighting. Hi, Denise. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Well, you and I, we sat across from each other at the home show, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. I was actually across from this guy of uh, the hallway at the home show. We had the best time. And now, Terry, you won one of the awards for the best booth, but tell me about your company and your business and uh, all about what you do. Okay. Uh, well, PM Lighting uh, has been in business since the 1993. Uh -huh. We actually started out as a kind of a small shop. The, the gentleman that founded the company was from Holland, and he was an artisan, basically doing metal spinning, and he and his dad did giftware and that sort of thing. And uh, at some point, uh, when the professional outdoor lighting market was born, uh, basically this, uh, this founder had taken his designs and created a line of outdoor lighting. And so today we are actually a manufacturer. We do full uh, manufacturing. And we have uh, dealers throughout the country that actually install our, our fixtures for different markets and so on. But here locally, we have a local division, which we're going to be talking about today. And it's the local division that uh, handles the middle, uh, middle Tennessee market. Well, and I mean, you, you talk about outdoor lighting, but I mean, this really is craftsmanship. I mean, some of the most beautiful copper that you've seen. And I just really fell in love with it as I was across the hall from him for about 30 hours. But we had a great time. He's a good guy. And I look forward to him telling you how you can get that curb appeal. Uh, well, Terry, we're so glad that you're here. And now tell me a little bit about the lighting. We're getting ready to see um, some pictures. Now, I know this must be a challenge to take pictures at night. <laughs> It definitely is. You have you have to get the right uh, right time of night to actually make them stand out and get some background, so where you have a little bit of clarity in that. But one of the things you'll see uh, in all of these uh, shots is going to be that there's there's a common theme in that you're trying to blend uh, art, design, and quality all throughout these. Uh, what you're trying to get is uh, is highlighting certain architectural elements. Mm -hmm. You need layering of the lighting, which you had mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. and you have to make sure that you have the correct applications, which means choosing the correct fixtures for those applications. Right. And when you're looking at uh, at these different uh, pictures, you can see in most cases you have a combination of up lighting. You'll have a uh, a series of accent lighting, which is going to be on things like trees. You'll have path lighting, which is a combination of of safety and beauty and, and those particular ones. Uh, this particular shot is an outdoor uh, back, uh, backyard in a, a kind of a patio and we use a unique light in this, uh, this uh, particular uh, situation where we have a half top which will flood out into those gardens but give a nice path lighting on the side where the, where the hardscape is. So uh, 
again, when you look at this particular picture, is kind of our, our uh, signature shot because it has so many different elements in it where you've got the up lighting on, on the walls to wash those. You've got roof And lighting. even on that roof line, you yes. have a light coming up on that roof. Now, Absolutely. And, and all of these would be on a timer. That's correct. We every, Everything, we use digital timers, okay. which basically are going to come on automatically when it gets dark and go off at whatever time the client uh, decides mm -hmm. to choose. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was a, a uh, home uh, in the Brentwood area that uh, we had a little bit of a unique challenge because the terrain was so different in terms of you have, uh, it, it's not a level lot, so to speak. And, uh, and we had to find a way to, to not only uplight the home, but to capture all of the architectural elements. Uh, and there's a shot in here that's coming up soon that will show the steps. Uh, mm -hmm. There it is. And you can see how tall that was. The client wanted to make sure that there was safety, so we actually had to create custom stakes to get the height that was needed to be able to, to light that appropriately. Uh, but again, you, when, when you keep looking through these, you'll see peaks are lit, uh, which is another challenge, uh, whether you have to use roof lighting uh, or from gutter mounts and that sort of thing, or you're trying to do the up lighting on the, on the walls for the, you know, for the, for the, the, the base washing. Right, and I see, even for the trees, you are lighting up the trees as well. That's correct, and that's part of how you get your depth because okay. you don't want a one-dimensional lighting design. You definitely want to have depth to that, so you want to have layers where you'll come out and, and take certain accents, which are usually trees. That's going to be the you know the ornamental uh, uh, pieces there. Okay. Uh, you'll have path lighting, as I had mentioned earlier, which will bring the you know the safety element in, but it also creates creates that layer of depth that you, you know that you're looking for. Well, we're talking about a curb appeal with you. We're talking about um, lighting and and safety and but one thing that we have not talked about and I can't wait for you to see the lighting up close because it is craftsmanship in copper. We're going to be talking to both Terry and Shirley when we return. But hey, do you know what, uh, guys, do you know what women really want? Well, that's coming up. I'm going to, uh, my husband is actually going to share a five-minute recipe. You know, all the ladies like for the men to be in the kitchen sometimes. So that's coming up right after the break. Um, well, we said that we wanted to see that copper, so right away, Terry, I want you to show us some of these samples that you have. Okay. First off, uh, I do want to mention that, uh, as, as we talked about, the, uh, the products are manufactured here in the Nashville area. Uh, oh, good. Ashland City is where, right. where our plant is. That's what we like. And, yeah, so these are actually made in USA, one of the few lines that's out there. Our products are also uh, basically one of the few lines that have a lifetime guarantee, and the reason we're able to do that is because these products are made of solid copper and solid brass. And so when you look at this as a path light and when you start talking about the different uh, you know, applications, this is what most people come to mind whenever they think landscape lighting is some type of a path light. And this, as you can see... It's a stake, so it would it, just put, you'd put that right into the ground and then the lighting would come from the bottom, that's, right? That's correct, that's correct. You've got, and these, all of these are LED. We okay. do have the halogen options available as well if somebody wants to start out with halogen and then maybe convert later to LED if the cost for LED initially is too much to, you know, to go for their budget. So this okay. is one aspect of a fixture. Uh, also, when you start talking about layering, we talked about some of the ornamental trees. Uh, often we'll use an MR16 style bullet fixture. And oh, this, okay. this is, again, solid copper. Stake uh, is solid copper going all the way into the ground. You're talking about, uh, again, LED uh, on this particular uh, unit. We have the shield, which allows basically to hide that light source, which is very important. And it doesn't blind design. you when you go by. I mean, sometimes That's if correct. it doesn't have that shield, it could literally be blinding. That's exactly right. Uh -huh. That's exactly right. So this is probably the second most uh, popular uh, or, or most most thought uh, thought of light whenever you start looking at different layering uh, applications. You can also get the peaks with this one. Okay, and you've got another piece there. And while you're getting the other piece, I want to ask you now when. Um, when you get this copper, and like I said, I kind of like that bronzing look, but I don't want it to turn green. What I mean, can you seal this, or do you need for it to, to change color? You can seal these. In fact, every one of these that I've brought have been clear coated for clear -coated, protection, so correct. that you can you you basically can handle them without without having that that and problem. And turn that just a little bit toward the, so way? we can see. I want to see both sides. So that's actually what you're using 
for this is this is a typical wash light we can use this to wash walls uh, do do up lighting on walls we actually can uh, could spread out in the gardens a lot depends on the type of bulb that you're going to put or the component you're going to use because you can get different spreads that way this also is, is good up on the roof to be able to get dormers and that uh, you know that sort of lighting application so most of our fixtures are multi-purpose depending upon the either the bulb or component that you choose or you know the the optical lens that sort of thing to get different spreads so there's a lot of different uh, variations on a theme mm -hmm. so it's not just as simple as grabbing lights throw it in, in the ground and one of the reasons that we do the uh, the home demonstration for oh, our clients. Oh and please tell people real quick too we're, we're just about out of time but the staging that you actually take all of your lighting out to the home. That's correct. We, we feel it's wow. very important for our client to see their home lit because it's really the only way you can make an educated decision on making an investment like this. This is a it truly is a one-time investment in your home when you when you pick the correct fixtures mm -hmm. and you get the right application, then having at home staging it goes a long way towards being able to see your home lit, make that decision, and you know, you'll be happy in the end. Absolutely. Well, thank you both so much. And uh, coming up for the home that we saw a little bit earlier, uh, the inspiration for that home, well, that's coming up right after the break. Well, we hope that you've been inspired. We've talked about so much here on the show. We've talked about outdoor lighting. We've had our experts in. Interior designer, uh, Davishar uh, Interiors, uh, Shirley Horowitz, has been sharing with us. And we want to make sure you know how to get in touch with us. You can get in touch with me by going to lifestylewithdenisesimons.com. And don't forget to vote on that small business big game, uh, the big green button. And to get in touch with uh, Shirley at Davishar Interiors, 298-2670. Go to davishar.com and you can get in touch with her. Also, PM Lighting. Dot com seven nine two six eight eight four. You can get in touch with both of my guests, um, Terry. Uh, we're so glad that you joined us and gave us all of this great information. We're so glad that you were here. Thank you very much for having me. And Shirley, if you all will take your glasses, we always end our show with a toast. We want to thank you both for sharing with all of us and to all of our guests. And we want to say we hope we divide your sorrows and we multiply your joys. Cheers to all of you. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>